Sometimes you have to get creative. For a Colorado rancher, that meant an investment in learning and then applying what he learned. With our continuing education of ranching for profit, we sit down at least quarterly and uh, figure out our gross margins, which really gives us the economic snapshot of, of uh, current enterprises and maybe future enterprises that we need to look at. We'll factor in a little bit of labor. Is it too much labor to have all cows? Or is it too much risk to have all breeding heifers? The two main economic players for the nobles are their cow-calf and heifer development enterprises. The latter branching out to serve other customers of their Angus bull supplier in Montana. A lot of these heifers, when they come to us, so the, the ones for the basin customers, will have had uh, gene max testing already performed on them, so they've already been through one sort while they were on the ranch. On the Colorado Plains, the development program begins with a customized backgrounding phase. If you want them turned out and roughed a little bit, we can do that. If you want them brought along in the grill yard, we can do that. And then we have a pretty good source of grass to graze in the summertime. You know, we're not just a feedlot, so it's, it's very real world conditions for all these cattle. Working with the nutritionist and heifer owners, Noble draws up breeding plans from target weights to clean up bulls, even ways to gather data on open heifers at a Nebraska feed yard. We go ahead and uh, go through this entire protocol when these heifers are developed, and we'll identify the cattle that are bred, and the rest of them will go to Chapel Feedlot, where they get fed, all the carcass data is analyzed, and it really gives a, a producer a great snapshot of of where their herd's at and where it's going. The program quickly gained momentum with Basin Angus Ranch customers. If you put all these cows together between the eight or ten cow herds, it's about 6,000, 6,500 head of cows. And it's, it's really fun to bring all these genetics from Wyoming, Montana, Nebraska, Colorado, and we get them all here and they're very similar. So these cattle can go out to, to very different environments and perform very similarly. So it's a lot of fun to bring them here and get to see it all culminate in one spot. That lets the heifer partners focus on managing their cows and developing their own mix of enterprises. They don't have to mess around and, and feed heifers on a daily basis. They don't have to take three or four days to AI in the spring. All they need to do is just run their cows. They'll actually have some other cattle, their contemporaries from different herds to compare them against in Chapel Feedlot and I think it really helps them to streamline their operations too. I'm Bob Cervera.